Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thayang had a beautiful dream the night before he had Jungkook were far far away from the city. Just the two of them in a small cottage nestly in the folds of loose green hills. There was a river gushing by the side where they went swimming around them the sunshine the birds sang and the flower flowers bloomed bloomed they begged enjoy the wave of the fresh baked bread and cooked meals together they cuddled with each other in a glow of the bringing of the burning fire under the warm fleece blanket their bodies into wind they whispered sweet nothing in each other's ears and then ended in passionate love mocking. It was heaven, it was a fairy tale. Jungkook and they hung them and their love. The illusion came crumble, crumbling in the anguish of his emotion as they sat in one corner of the long oval table, hearing Jungkook's round talk and argue before coming. Here, when Yungi told Thayang to come to the office two days later, preferable with his lawyer, his first thought was Jungkook hit him and was going to sue him for leaking the picture. Yoon called in a fever to Thayang with one of her friends and arranged a lawyer for him. As his lawyer Seok Jin and Thayang were ushered into the room, Thayang said, Sorry for Jungkook. They hadn't talked to him since that day in the house. They was hoping Jungkook would call him maybe for a coffee or a dinner. He was hoping that they could talk candidly about their emotions. Thayang was hoping they could learn more about each other, their likes, dislikes, dreams, hopes, secrets. He kept hoping and hoping. Jungkook walked in with his RM lawyer and Yonggi and they pushed a sheet of documents into Thayang's lawyer's and things as written as he went through the document and realized what they were. They looked up at Jungkook but Jungkook's eyes were fixed on his lawyer. I am who was explaining the term and condition of the agreement with Chuck interrupting in between, interjecting his points. Thayang thought about his dream yesterday night and he could feel the letter in front of him getting blood. They hadn't even had their first date and here they were discussing what his share would be if they split how much they would get if they split after one year, after three years, after five years, if they were, there were kids involved, if they, they cheated, if Jungkook cheated, the percentage, shares, stocks, properties, they almost laughed out loud at the irony of the situation. He hadn't even told Jungkook about his, how much he loved him and here they were putting a prize on his love, on Thayang's love. They couldn't take it anymore. He knew Jungkook was forced to say yes to the sake of his company, but he had thought there would be some sunshine for them as they fit together into the future, they, that they would make it work slowly but steadily building a relationship on friendship, trust, care and love, they wasn't sure anymore. Thayang slowly got up, took a street towards Jungkook, hurt was written all over his face. When he reached the end of the table, Thayang looked up at the tall, impo- imposing figure of one of the wealthiest men in the country. The pain crunching inside him turned into anger. Thayang thrusted the paper at Jungkook's and said in a deliberate voice, You may have all the money in the world, Jungkook, but never, never ever put a price on my life or on my love. 
sit and around and walk away leaving a confused uncle holding the crumbled paper in his hand love Janko reached the door in two steps and yanked him around, staring into that beautiful brown eyes which were radiating hurt at all. At that moment, Janko asked, confusing, "You said love." Then he looked at Janko and gave a sad smile. Janko, it is true that you haven't known me long, but I hope you at least know. me enough to recognize that i am not a kind of person who will get engaged or marry for money or business or your company not for anything else janko not for anything else but love he turned around and walk broken hearted janko just stood there with the documents in his hand staring at the back of the sadly walking thing compared to at the moment that jakub was also and this for love and only love they hung let out a small sigh of disappointment as he opened the door and saw yogi standing outside the door he had hoped it would be someone else because he really need to stop expecting things from jakub did a boss send you they hung asked sarcastically no i came as a friend yogi said as he walked into the small one bedroom apartment look thehang yogi continue i know you are upset about the documents it's not the documents yogi heck i even know how it has given financial protection to a lot of people that's not the point i will sign the document thing the dan thing i don't even care about that i just I just realized that it's all about business for Janko. We haven't even talked properly, Yongi. We haven't even talked about our life or future. And the first thing we discuss is now: how will we split property if we separate? I don't want to start like this. I don't want my love to be treated like this. Like it's nothing but some. numbers they are not really to understand what you are saying believe me i do i would have felt the same if i had been in your shoes but you have to understand that jungkook is a difference in a different situation it is people like us can't even compare his position even move he makes every decision he takes even a photo a rumor a word a word out of his mouth effect not just him or his family but thousands of workers employees sole shareholders and all other stockholders he is not used to making decision with his heart he has to keep emotions away from everything he does that's why jungkook has been taught to do that's the only way he knows but listen to me thang i know the man even more than jungkook knows himself you mean a lot to him listen to me thang i know the man even more than jungkook knows himself you mean a lot to him i have seen it in his eyes in the way he speaks about you give him some time thang he can be a freak sometime most of the time they have really cut him yongi most of the time i'm not going to argue about that with that yongi pilefully threw his hand in the air but i have never seen him so crazy about anyone or he is for as he is for you yeah then why he is not here he is he is waiting down thehang look out of the window the group of cars was standing in the narrow alley alley in front of his apartment building and the neighbors all looking curiously at the unusual gate that had came young young children were running around the car trying to peep in through the tatten 
glasses occur thanks left his face just ask him to come up and please move all the cars somewhere on the main road they are making a scene thang junk called softly as he entered thang's apartment junk called one to thang replied please thang can i just speak for a moment before you say anything i'm sorry with all my heart i'm not used to this the emotion the feelings the following my heart thing it's all alien to me a lot of things have been new to me these few last few months i am still trying to use to it i know none of this is an excuse for how i am i ignored you or your feelings i was overwhelmed and i am selfish please give me a chance to understand you to understand myself to understand us i have never been in love thang and it took me some time to understand what you mean to me jungkook was correct as he stared at thang hopefully i don't know jungkook you have made me feel bad so many times that if i if you want us to work you have to show me that you are sincere with me what do you i do to make you believe thang i will do whatever you ask whatever they ask just tell me let's stay together thang said it's a surprise jungkook stay together and show me you mean what you said that you are willing to make an effort let's say one month and then we will see we stay together with thang jungkook was already grinning of course let's do that and i will prove to you how much you mean to me jungkook said great oh but one thing i don't want to stay with jian jungkook CEO of Jian Restaurant. I want to stay with Jungkook. My Jungkook. Thang said, "What do you mean?" Jungkook looked confused. "You stay be here with me in my house. We will live with my money, my things. You will not bring your power, money, things, or status inside this house. You still okay?" "Huh? Okay, but my office and what about my clothes, my other things?" Jungkook got looked around the room as he nodded I will drop you at your office and we are of the same size you can use my things what do you say in or out they hung ask again I will do anything to prove that I am serious about you about us they hung I mean what I said by the way then when you say stay together can be janko kasali no don't even think about it they hung cut him off not even once no can i at least look at you or is that also not allowed janko kasins he stop being a wise crack go now send your people away and give your wallet to yungi thang ordered okay okay my security team is not going to be happy jungkook said i am sure hope we can find some way to protect you from here thang went get your enough half of his neighbor suddenly won tickets to resorts cruises and trips leaving their house for rent to big build muscular man in suits and dark glasses to protect their boss yan jong kok for a bit for a bit for so everyone how was the episode don't forget to comment it down see you in the last episode of this series and maybe i will work on uh, the special episode let's see okay so be happy and healthy bye bye bye